Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be diving into my month and favorites. And the first thing I want to say is that today's video is way later than it was supposed to be. Um, originally, this video was actually supposed to go up like, you know, two weeks ago, like, you know, back when it was actually the beginning of September. And something happened with my filming schedule. I don't have a clue what, but I just remembered like, you know, last week that I still hadn't done this one yet. So I wanted to make sure to take some time this weekend and film it, get it up for you guys. That way, you know what products I was reaching for the most during the month of August. Before I get going too far into all of this, I do want to take a really quick pause and I'll let you guys know a couple of things. So first of all, this face right here, hi, hello, how's it going? Um, this face, I did just get done filming, uh, testing out new high-end makeup, which I will link up here. We had some new Charlotte Tilbury, some new Cosmetics, a little new Urban Decay, uh, ABH, Melt Cosmetics, really all the good things, okay? So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check out the video again. It will be linked. Of course, I will make sure to try and link everything down below, but just in case you want to see like all of it applied and get my actual thoughts on it, you know, like what I actually think, um, you can definitely check that video out. But uh, for today, I will have all of it linked, like I said, down below. I do earrings, necklaces, the whole bit. And then just like I said in that video, I just want to let you know because I absolutely love this hoodie and I'm sure a lot of you do too. But uh, I actually got this from my, well, I, mean, I didn't get it. Okay. My mom got it for me from Meyer. But uh, Meyer, I don't know. I don't think you can shop their online website. So I, I don't think I'll be able to link this. Of course, if I can, I absolutely will. Before we get going into anything else, I do want to pause, do my self promo, my self plug because you know what? Sometimes you just have to promote yourself, okay? Sometimes you just have to tell the world. You gotta put it out there. This is who I am. This is what I'm looking for. This is what's going on. And sometimes we have to be our own biggest advocates, our own biggest promotional people. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Of course, again, if you are new here, um, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So it is a bright early morning upload. And then of course, of course, of course, you guys, if you have not done so yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would go down and follow me on Instagram. I am trying to get to 10,000 followers over there so I can get the swipe up feature, okay? It is very, very important um, that I get to this because I would really love to be able to swipe up and link things. If you would go down, follow me. Everything is linked in the description box, but I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers. So please take a second if you haven't done so yet. Follow me down there. And uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a little drink of water. Water, bitch. I'm drinking some water, mainly, mainly because I haven't drank any yet today and I probably need some hydration. I am sweating. It is so hot in here. Ooh. And I could take off the sweatshirt, but we both know I'm not going to because I love it and it's tight and it has friends. Uh -huh. Not gonna happen. Just not gonna happen. I'm just not gonna take it off. You can't make me water. All right, you guys. So to start off, we're actually going to be going in first with skincare. Now this part's going to be a little bit different because I had a ton of items that I have been loving and using and just like, obsessing over as of recent. And so what I decided to do, because I did use up a lot of them actually this past month, like it just it kind of lined up perfectly. Um, I decided to go ahead and do separate from my favorites video, which again, we're doing right now. I also am going to go ahead and put together a trash video where I go through and talk to you guys about all of the products I've used up. Again, there is a ton of skincare and I'm actually like in real time, I'm going to be filming that video next. But I think as of like, while you're watching this, it should already be live on the channel. So I will go ahead and link it up here. And with all of that out of the way, I am going to go in with my first skincare favorite for this video. And that is the Wishful Yo Glow Scrub, you guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my actual good Lord. Okay. I am obsessed. Obsessed. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, Wishful is actually a brand that was created by Huda from Huda Beauty. And she actually has a really interesting place that she comes from with skincare and it's very similar to my own. You know, she's someone that was more acne prone. She had a lot of acne scarring. If you watch her skincare really transform over the last couple of years, like as she's been curating these kind of behind the scenes, it is unbelievable to see like the difference that she's been able to make in her own skin. And so for me, when her stuff started coming out again, this brand launched, I was really intrigued, you know, just kind of knowing her and I had similar issues, you know, that whole thing. And it really did start with her cleansing genie, which I talk about in the other video and I give you my thoughts on that. But but uh, for me, this product was one that I was a little bit, like just a little bit on the edge about because I just wasn't sure if it would be something that would work for me because I I'm really funny when it comes to like abrasives. Again, you guys know this, brain tumor, autoimmune diseases, textures for me just are, they can be like really hit or miss. And so I, I kind of decided like after a while, I waited, I waited, a lot of other people had, you know, kind of weighed in and I finally just decided like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to try it, see if I like it. And the worst that happens is I hate it and you know, like I just, I give it to somebody else, they test it, whatever. But in the end, you 
you guys, it, all of it aside, I am so glad that I decided to test this out for myself because this product works so unbelievably well on my skin. It has the perfect amount of abrasion to where I feel like, you know, it's really getting off like all the dead skin and it's really helping me to like cleanse after a full day, like a full wear makeup. Like this shit's sitting on my face for, you know, like 12 to 15 hours. I really want to make sure that I get all of it off and that my skin is nice and clean. And I feel like this not only does a beautiful job with that and like, you know, just the, the actual removing of, of all the gunk and all the crap on your skin, but it also does a beautiful job really refining my skin. And I find that I feel so smooth, like so, so smooth. And ultimately I do think that it's made a big difference, especially like with the refinement over my more textured areas. And I've just, I've definitely noticed a huge difference. So highly, highly recommend. I'm absolutely obsessed. Chef's fucking kids, Huda. This is some good shit, which by the way, who else just saw that she's coming out with some new, I, I don't know, I didn't exactly read it, okay? But I think it's like some acne oil, a scar fading shit or something, bitch. Sign me up, honey. I am so here for that. Oh my God, yes. Give me all the good things um, because this is amazing. Oh my God, so good. All right, you guys, so moving on from there into makeup, I actually have, I'm gonna start off with my three eyeshadow items, which I, I know, I'm just as shocked as you. Three eyeshadow items, where are you? I haven't had any kind of eyeshadow like this in uh, quite some time. So let's go ahead and start off first with this guy. Now this is from Essence and this is their Witch Side Eyeshadow Palette. And like, look at that. Oh my God, how cool. I love the packaging of this so much. Uh, but I actually used this first in, I think it was like testing either New Drugstore or New Essence, but I'll link it up here. And for me, this is just such a good, easy go-to kind of palette. Um, I've really been enjoying these lighter toned matte shades, like this one right here, the shade Magic, Wish, Ritual, like just that whole area right there where it's just nice, light. Ooh, this one right here, Charm. I've worn that one a shade ton too. And they're just so nice and light. The way the shadows perform is beautiful. They buff in really seamlessly. And ultimately when I combine those, like the lighter tones in here, and you know what? It's every once in a while too, you know, I'll be fair. I do dabble a little bit into like the shade Potion right here. Potion, yeah. It's more of like a dark kind of red, ambery kind of color, but it's super beautiful and it blends in with the lighter tones really nice. So I'm able to deepen those up a little, but without taking it like over the top, you know, overly dramatic. And uh, I just find anyways that these, those matte shades in here, they blend really nicely. They work well. And then I'm able to take those and just throw on like one of these shimmery shades, which I'll just go ahead and kind of show you. The shade, this is, what is this? Amulet. We have shadowy. And where's the other one? This one I've used a lot, the shade power. But uh, these three shades, they just, let me swatch, let me just swatch them. Okay. Let's just cut to the chase, bitch. Um, but putting these all over the lid, they've just been really easy to work with. They're super duper beautiful. They do have a little bit more like chunk or fallout to them. So you do have to be more mindful of that. But for me, the way that I like to apply, I mean, all of my shimmers, glitters, anything like that, I prefer to go in with a glitter glue, which I do keep right in front of me. It had just fallen down, down the little crevasse right there. But uh, this is the NYX glitter glue. It is, I think, five-ish dollars. It is so good. Again, I'll make sure it's linked down below. But this glitter glue is fantastic, and it really does take away any of, like, the fallout, the chunkage. It makes them nice. They're super rich in pigment. And ultimately, like, it works great with any shadow, whether it's Essence, Denona, anything in between. Like, I don't care. I still reach for this every single day. But uh, this especially has helped with that that chunky factor. And so for me, you know, as somebody, I've used probably 90% of this palette, you know, lacking a few shades. But it is really, really nice. It's super affordable. And I just want to give it a shout out because it is really, really nice. Right, now moving on from there, I have two other little mini eyeshadow palettes. And I'm going to show both of them at the same time because they're actually very similar to each other. Uh, but first up here, we have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk little mini eyeshadow quad. And then right next to that, I have the M Cosmetics Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. Now, I don't know if I've talked about this one in a favorites yet or not. I very well may have. I don't know. And for me, both of these palettes just deliver beautifully in terms of pigmentation, the wear, the way they blend. It's all really beautiful, super seamless. Now, of course, just reaching for like the obvious things here. Obviously, the one from Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's like 50, 53-ish dollars. It's very expensive and you only get four shades versus the one from M Cosmetics, which I want to say is like right around 30-ish dollars and you get six shades. So, I mean, this one, you definitely have more like bang for your buck, like shades versus price, but you also do have a little bit of a better like shade range, if you will, uh, because you get like a brown over here. You have a darker tone shimmer, a lighter shimmer, and then a couple little light pinks. I've actually reached for them pretty interchangeably because they both have a beautiful blend. The application is amazing. Like as far as the use of them, very user-friendly, which I really love and appreciate. Um, and it just, you know, it makes the whole process go that much quicker when you're not like trying to blend out one shade for an hour 
shower. But what I really, really like about these is that I feel like I have a beautiful eye look all in one and I don't really have to, like I don't have to think about it if that makes sense. Like, like I can take a call and do this, you know, a business call, I can take orders, I, I can sit down and, and do more than one thing and I don't ever have to worry um, about a shade or a color or a combo or anything like that because I know the blend is gonna be there, I know the colors are gonna work and again, there's just enough difference in like the shades in the palette that you can play around but you still, no matter how much playing you wanna do, you don't have to think a lot and I just, I don't know, I've really liked them, they both work beautifully so I wanted to point it out. All right, now while we're still on the M Cosmetics train, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this as well. This is their Heaven's Glow Magic Hour Blush and I can't remember, just like with that one, if I talked about this or not like maybe a month or so ago but either way, honey, it definitely, it definitely needs a repeat because this blush, it is so freaking beautiful, you guys. I love it. I love the color, the tone, the texture. Um, it has like this beautiful kind of light pinky peach color to it. Again, right there, it's, it's hard to see in swatch because I'm already so damn glow in the dark pasty. But I really love the color of this because it's so easy to wear. Application is so smooth. It just settles into the cheek beautifully. And I find that this is one of those blushes that you can actually do a lot with, um, meaning you can apply it by itself like all over the cheek. It looks beautiful. It gives you that nice light flush. You can build the color, which is nice if you need to like deepen it up just a freckle. You can do that. But then in addition to that, you can also use this as like a blush topper because it has like that slight luminosity to it. Just it's ever so like lit from within. -y. Lit from within. -y. <laughs> is, is that a word? I, no, it's definitely not a word. Uh, but that's definitely the the appearance on the skin. It just kind of gives you that light glow. And then even if you want to take it one step farther, I actually used this the other day. Okay, let me, let me just like set the scene. Bitch got into a situation with some blush. Okay, I'm getting it all over my face, and I may okay like I, I might just maybe have went in a freckle too heavy with a powder blush. Okay, everything was all set. This was not a cream, but I'm sitting there and I have this powder blush out and I'm just boop, 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 like I'm just being me, being a fucking little air twit and I'm, you know, putting my blush on and I realize, oh shit, okay, I went in just a little bit too heavy. So I was kind of thinking to myself like, you know, mm, how do I want to do this? And I actually thought that this color, like I only wanted it for, for really the color because I just thought it had that beautiful light peachy color. I'm like, it'll work perfect. It'll kind of dim it down. And what I got, oh honey, it was so much more because this blush, it is like the perfect, like, I can't even talk, okay? It has the perfect light mill to it to where I was able to use it to lightly buff out and diffuse, okay? Like, literally diffuse the situation of another blush, and it just looked stunning on my skin. Like, it didn't look thick. It didn't look cakey. I didn't have, like, weird, like, texture emphasizing going on because, again, it has a little shimmer in it, and no matter what I did, like, it just worked beautifully. So, this for me is definitely one of those blushes, even if I have talked about it, I need to revisit because I feel like it's a beautiful blush you can really do a lot with it and uh, yeah I've just really enjoyed it so I wanted to throw it out there it's kind of a multi-use moment in the blushosphere the blushosphere that's definitely not a place but it is now bitch and uh, yeah I just wanted to share it with you kind of love it kind of great moving on all right now here's one that I definitely know I have talked about but bitch okay don't come for me uh, but I have to talk about this again because I fucking love okay I love this product so much this is from Shantikai and this is their luminous eye shade and it's in the shade warm champagne and this is supposed to be like a little mini eyeshadow that you can you know use just on your eyes but do not sell yourself short okay if you pick this up for well first of all it's very expensive I'm just gonna warn you right now I, the Chantikai stuff is expensive for those of you that don't know it's like woohoo expensive and uh but I love this I regret fucking nothing okay this is such such a beautiful color okay so let me just back up all right so first of all it's an eye shade okay I'm gonna give you a little swatch let me make sure my finger is clean here um it is just like an all over eye shade all right let me just swatch it out oh my god you guys like how beautiful I love that my whole body not just my arm bitch we all come in for this shit look at it oh just look at that for color oh it's so good it is the most beautiful light champagne -y kind of color okay so obviously number one love the color it looks great on the eyes. Do you want to know where this like really just shines, sparkles, and just shits itself? What? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know where this shine sparkles and shits itself? Well, yes, you do. And it's on my face. Okay. I love using this. I, I don't know what is wrong with me, but I love using this as an all over highlight. Okay. I'll just show you. Uh, like right now, obviously I have highlight on because I did film, but uh, let me grab a brush. Oh, actually. Hey girl. Hey. I mean, I, I talked about it in that other video, but let's just talk about it again. Okay. Um, my little BK beauty bundle from little Miss Kate the Great. Uh, they collabed and did a bundle and this is the BK beauty 108 brush and it is a great brush. You guys, I mean, all of them are fantastic because I'm loving, but just, you know what? Shut the fuck up, Paige. While we're here, let's just talk about it. Do you see this big fluffy bitch right here? <gasps> it is so soft. This is the BK Beauty 102. 
Oh my god, and the kit that they have, which I'll make sure it's linked down below. And by the way, Kate also has a coupon code. I think it's Kate10. I'll link that down there as well, because that, that's what I use to buy my bundle. Um, but uh, these brushes, they're just so freaking luxurious. It comes with four brushes and a sponge, and the brushes are great. But anyways, let me just, you know, get back into what I was saying. So you take this, and, uh, or, you know, whatever brush you're using, but it, it should be this, and uh, you just take a little bit of it here, get it on, and um, let me just add just a little bit for you, just to just to really bring it home you guys look I don't I don't even have words okay I wear this all the time by itself and this is for me just like one of the I'm not even looking I'm just fucking I'm just draping it on my face anyways you guys moral of the story I absolutely love this it's the one with the little cheetah that's upside down page get it right um but I absolutely love this it's so so good I wear it all the time I, I wear it all the time as a highlight and people ask me like bitch what you got and I'm like is this little motherfucker right here and it's so good um I wear it on the face the eyes the whole bit it's beautiful highly recommend but you know what while we're on the fucking topic okay let's just go get into it because I wasn't going to because I'm a little salty right now but my Chantikai mascara it is missing and I was that that's supposed to be in this video like I was gonna hold it up and be like ah, this $800,000 mascara actually I think it's like $70 okay it's so expensive for a mascara and I would never say that it's not but you guys that mascara I, I don't I, I don't even have words okay for how beautiful it is I really wish that I had it so I could show you um but like I and trust me when I tell you just because I can't find it currently I have used it like almost every single day for like the last month and a half ish or so because I love it okay I layer it it builds beautifully it gives you the most like kind of lashes and I think what it is like because I've you know kind of read through the packaging because my little bitch ass over here I'm like why is this so expensive like what like it's great but like why are you so damn pricey and I'm pretty sure that I read somewhere with that mascara that it has like wax or something in it and bitch I'm telling you if there's wax in there just like wax my ass up okay wax my ass wax my ass <laughs> I feel like I feel like probably not which by the way if you missed it way back then I think it was probably way back listen to me but it was probably like a month or two ago I did do a video testing out Chantikai makeup which I will link up here and if you want to see skepticism bitch I went into that and I was like how the fuck much <laughs> like how much you think I'm spending um but uh, yeah that was a super fun video I loved it and there's you know you can see everything in action but that mascara like holy hell's bells okay I, like I'm actually over here debating getting another one and it kind of like makes my stomach hurt a little bit but it's also so wonderful and I'm so upset like for me the true marker of good makeup is when I'm mad that I can't find it and bitch I am fucking furious that I can't find that because I don't know where it went so uh yeah moral of the story I'm thinking about buying it it's a great mascara and moving on all right you guys so moving into the next product this is one that I did do a dedicated video on and that is actually this Clinique Conceal Concealer. This is their even better all over concealer and eraser, which of course I will link my video that I did right up here. And uh, this was actually a concealer that surprised, I'm not even gonna lie, okay, it surprised the living shit out of me because this, there's something about the way that it blends under my eyes, the way that it lasts, the way that it looks, like it just, it has like this perfectly satin appearance all day long. But I think my favorite thing about this is actually the way that the coverage builds because it builds in such a beautiful way to where like the actual coverage, like, obviously gets more and it goes from like more of a medium to a full coverage but at the same time it's not building up on like products so it doesn't get thicker it doesn't make my under eye look cakey I've used them a ton I, I really like them I like the formula and I wanted to mention it because this concealer it really really shocked me I didn't expect to love it this much but like shit it is good now moving in from there I have three products they are all like face type products and they are all from one video okay this one <laughs> this one damn video little miss testing Jessica Braun's favorites okay I will link it up here I feel Feel like I link it in every video but oh and PS hold on what was that the M cosmetic stuff that I talked about that was testing Kathleen lights makeup I'll link it up here shit I almost missed a link um but yeah testing that's where I tested those out for the first time guys I say this a lot I like again are arguably in every video but I love those testing out youtubers favorites I love them for a reason because I test out things I never would have tested and all of these from Jessica Braun are just so freaking good okay so let's go ahead and start off this one right here this is the Mac so natural glow play blush and this freaking texture the color everything about it she is so right it oh my god it works beautifully on my skin I have to build it up a little bit so that way you guys can see it because it's still I mean it's, it's still really light and you can barely see it but uh, the color of this is so perfect for like that natural day-to-day -day kind of look which I really like but uh, for me what's really magic about this is the texture because it is obviously more of like a cream based product but it also has like a, a powdery kind of finish to it like a really nice 
powdery velvet finish, I guess you could say. And so for me with this blush, it's just become a very good like everyday staple because just like I said with some of the eyeshadows, I just, I don't have to think about it. Like it just goes on, it applies beautifully and the texture of it really does work for several different applications, different um, foundations and powders and just like, it always seems to jive with whatever I'm working with. And I definitely can't say that about a lot of other cream or cream to powder finishes because you know, sometimes, sometimes textures, they just don't mesh. And this one, one, Mac, holy shit, you guys hit it out of the park. This thing is so freaking good. Now from there, I'm gonna move into my last two products and I'm not gonna talk about these a ton because I've used them so many times, like on, off camera, whatever. But uh, these are also, of course, like I said, from the Jessica Braun video. I have the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder in the shade Light, which is right here. And uh, it is, I would say this is normally, like if, I, if it was the winner, this could be a little bit too dark for me, but right now it works perfectly. Uh, but I think there is one shade lighter than this, so I might have to switch over, who knows, but this is uh, the foundation powder she uses, and then this is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder, and you guys, these two powders, okay, <laughs> oh my god, um, so I'm gonna go ahead, just since I'm holding this one, let's talk about it, um, not only with this one, I love the texture, it is a beautiful, beautiful, finely milled finishing powder, for me, this works so well, because I can use it all over the face, uh, meaning, like, I can use it, of course, as a finishing powder, if I need to, like, set things down, if I want to buff it out, or if I need to, you know, like lessen a blush a little bit, like, so, you know, something like that. I can really use it all over, but then because it has that beautiful brightness to it, like that nice, bright, rich undertone, I can also use it under my eyes right here as an under eye setting powder or as just like a, a lifting, illuminating under eye powder. And it works so gorgeous because that finishing powder aspect of it isn't heavy, it's not thick, it's not cakey, and it just like effortlessly, and I mean effortlessly blends under my eyes and it looks so beautiful. Moving on from there, the last item I have is the It Cosmetics Celebration Powder, and this one really shocked me because I'm super picky when it comes to foundation powders as a whole. Like, I'm talking, it's a whole fucking process, okay? And this is one of those ones that, like, when I tested it out, I was like, well, I don't think I'm, I'm probably not gonna like it. And then, like, day after day, I was just kind of like, maybe, 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 and then before I knew it, I was like, where the hell is it? Like, where did it go? I think what I like most about this is that I I get the beautiful, like, kind of foundation-y powder look that I love. Like, it gives you that coverage, um, and it still sets my, my makeup really well, but it does it in a way where it doesn't look thick or cakey, which is number one. Like, that's most important for a foundation powder, bitch. If you look thick and cakey, you can just get the fuck out right now. Like, no thank you. But for me, what it is about this is the illumination factor of it, like that glow that you get. It is so natural and so subtle. Used it pretty much every single day since that video, or, well, several days. Obviously, I've tested out other things too, but I have used this a ton. I've made a hell of a dent for sure, and uh, it's just a beautiful powder, and and I've really enjoyed it. Again, I can't speak that it's for everyone because the, the, I feel like foundation powders are one of those super, super persnickety things, but I have really, really enjoyed it. So that's just, you know, one of my favorites, kind of gorgeous. But all right, you guys, that is it. That's the end of my favorites video. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below, whether it's on this video, if you like them, or what your month end favorites were. Again, leave everything down in the comments. And like I said at the beginning, don't forget you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and of course, go follow me over on Instagram before you leave. And with that beautiful piece, I thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You can have yourself some fun. All right, you guys, so diving in, diving in, <laughs> diving in.